Welcome to Tent Talk, the podcast with Nancy McCrady, where we talk about life under the big tent of God's presence and the provoking process of discipleship. Here we go. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Tent Talk. This is Nancy McCrady. In this uh, short series of conversations on perseverance, I pray that you'll be encouraged to stay in this long distance race, to not grit your teeth, but to live in the glory strength that he gives us. Let this become real in your everyday life as you simply put one foot in front of the other. So take a listen, share with others, and thank you for being a part of the podcast of Nancy McCready Ministries, Tent Talk. Welcome to this series on perseverance. Now, this name came to me, and those of you that know me, you know how much I love what I call word capture or what is called word capture. I wouldn't want you to think that's totally original to me, but it's a concept that I learned years ago um, that I was already doing, and I didn't know there was a name for it. It's just certain words would just capture me, and then I found out it was a thing, you know. So so uh, recently, I was talking to some dear friends and partners of NMM, and we were just talking, and, and it turned to talking about our pets, and they were talking to me about their cat named Percy. And I thought, oh, and, and yet, uh, I think it was a girl cat. I was like, hmm, I thought Percy was a man's name. And then come to find out it's short for perseverance because this cat like clung to their screen door and wouldn't leave. And this cat has real perseverance. And so I just thought it was so funny. And I thought, wow, that's got to be uh, a podcast series. Okay. <laughs> See how word capture Uh, captures you in different places, different circumstances, and suddenly you hear a word and you think, hey, I think that's a word I can build around. It's something that's already in me, but it gives me a title. It gives me something that I can hang some thoughts on, right, that might be able to encourage folks. So that's why this series name is Percy, for Perseverance. And so I was reading in Colossians recently, and I love this in the Message Bible. And uh, in it, Paul says uh, in chapter one, he says, be assured that from the first day we heard of you, we haven't stopped praying for you, asking God to give you wise minds and spirits attuned to his will, and so acquire a thorough understanding of the ways in which God works. We pray that you'll live well for the master, making him proud of you as you work hard in his orchard. As you learn more and more how God works, you will learn how to do your work. We pray that you'll have the strength to stick it out over the long haul. Okay, now remember... Just a few episodes ago, we talked a little bit about being short-term thinkers and long-term thinkers, and I also did a live over on the Producers Way Facebook page. So I love this, right? This is where this comes up. Certain things come up again and again. You begin to notice them in different places, and you realize, wait just a minute, I think the Lord is saying something to me. See, so this isn't just like, oh, hey, this would be a great podcast series. Oh, what a great topic for a sermon. Oh, hey, other people need to know this. It's like, no, hey, hey, you. (laughs) God is saying something to me. I just happen to be passing it on to you, but he's speaking this to me. So guess what I know? Ooh, I must be getting ready to have perseverance deeply developed in me, probably in ways I don't yet see are necessary right? Because it's not just, oh, hey, isn't that a great word, right? No, he's like, hey, no, that's an aspect of the character of Jesus that I want to bring development uh, to inside of you. It's in your new nature. I share in the perseverance of Jesus, and he had to have that long haul perseverance. Hmm? So now because I share in his nature, I share in his life. I have that same 
capacity, but it has to be worked out. It has to be deeply developed. So he says again, we pray that you'll have the strength to stick it out over the long haul, not the grim strength of gritting your teeth, but the glory strength God gives. It is strength that endures the unendurable and spills over into joy, thanking the Father who makes us strong enough to take part in everything bright and beautiful that he has for us. Wow. Doesn't that sound like a paradox? It's strength that endures the unendurable, right? But it's so that we can take part in everything bright and beautiful. But the source is him. See, this is where we have to understand that everything is from him. My friends, I'm not here to have human perseverance. I've already done that. I already persevered and endured many things, but it did not spill over into joy. It did not really bring about anything bright and beautiful. But now that I am in Christ, now that my perseverance is born of him, it's from him, it's his, and he's sharing it with me. This is what I'm asking him to bring development to, because I want to be a finisher I want to finish my course. That's for him. Because Jesus finished his course, he's already given me everything I need. But now me finishing my course, this is how Jesus talked. Right, Father, I've finished the course you gave me. i finished my race. Now return me to the glory that I had with you before time. Right, finishing, my friends, is about the Father. I'm not trying to get something from God by enduring No, no, no. I love that. It says, it's not this grim strength, you know, this doom and gloom strength of gritting our teeth. No, no, it's the glory strength that God gives. Maybe you need to know that you already have the capacity for perseverance today, for endurance. But maybe today you need to be reminded that it comes from him. It's of a source, my friends. It's not your old work ethic. It's not your old grit your teeth kind of endurance that births pride so deep that you think you're stronger than anybody else around you. Everybody else are wimps, right? Everybody else are sissies, right? Nobody's endured what you have. Listen to me, my friend. None of us have endured what Jesus endured. Hmm? This isn't about what you've endured. This is about finally giving up on your old human perseverance, your old human work ethic, your old human strength, and finally realizing that's not what God has given. Hmm? It's not what God expects you to draw from, right? Just buck up and get after it. Hmm? If it's birthing pride in you, right, and superiority to others, I can assure you it's not of Christ. But God has given you his own ability to persevere. (laughs) They have shared everything with you so that the Father who makes you strong enough to take part in everything bright and beautiful that he has for you, right? That results, my friends, in thanking the Father. Hmm? It goes on to say, God rescued us from dead-end alleys and dark dungeons. He's set us up in the kingdom of the Son he loves so much. The Son who got us out of the pit we were in, got rid of the sins we were doomed to keep repeating. Mm. The perseverance that is of them, my friends, will result in great humility, great joy, An endurance that is so glad to be with the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Is that really ultimately, that's the only motivation to persevere, is to finish in them, with them, and for them. Hmm? So there you have it. Perseverance 1.0. Percy. (laughs) Oh, my Yes, we will be those who finish. We will be those who prevail in the end. No matter how it may appear, 
my friends. No matter how it may appear that my life ends, someone might say one day, oh, wow, Nancy, serve the Lord all those days, and look, still her children are not serving him, or look, this and that happened, or, right, my friends, don't, don't, be, don't be fooled. I prevail in the end, and so shall you, because I prevail in the end because I'm with him. And so shall all my generations be, right? As he has written it down, it shall be. No matter how it may appear here in time and space, here in the earth, here in the natural, my friends, we are those who persevere out of the eternal realm, out of the realm of the Son, because that's whose kingdom we live in. Hmm? So rejoice today. You prevail in the end. You shall persevere, and it shall be because of Jesus, in Jesus, and for him, the Father and Holy Spirit. Here we go, my friends. We're going to make it, and we're going to make it big. Love you all. For more information on Nancy, please visit nancymccrady.com or follow her on social media at nbmccrady.com.